board of directors of the Larrabee Industries will now come to order. Hi, welcome to Collecting Audrey. I got a really great story to share with you today. It's about a rare item. It's a silk scarf, and along with the silk scarf are eight Type 1 photos. What makes this story so cool to me is that Audrey gave these items to a little girl that was sick. This was back in 1963, before even I was born. And this woman, um, her name's Linda, donated these items to an auction, and the proceeds went to UNICEF. So it makes this story even more special. So the interesting part here is that the studio obviously gets the letter and he writes, um, you know, writing her back like, hey, I'm sorry, I don't have any autographs or anything to send you, but, um, you know, here's her movie career. So somehow Audrey intercepted this letter, heard about it, and um, not only did she send autograph, two of them, and she threw in some photos, and heck, why not throw in a silk scarf? So my package finally arrived, and here you see me unboxing the um, items that were carefully, very carefully packaged, and Linda had hide, had these items most of her life. Keep in mind, she got these in 1963. Here it is, 2019. She kept everything in what Audrey sent, and it was in great shape. She was took so good care of it, and all the items that you see, the packaging that the scarf came in, there was a Hollywood dry cleaners bag. I have everything carefully um, put away and preserved it all. And I definitely want to make a recording of, of her story as well, but also preserve the fact of how well she took care of these items that she just absolutely treasured. So the letter reveals that um, little Linda sent um, Audrey a flower. So based on that, Audrey decided to send that scarf to her because it was the woodland flowers in Switzerland. How cool is that? Audrey Hepburn has always delighted me from the first film I saw her in, which would have been Roman Holiday when I was about six years old. To me, she was the epitome of perfection and has remained so throughout my life. I believe she was so kind and generous to me by writing to me was probably because I developed anorexia nervosa at the age of 13 and became dangerously ill over the next few years. I sent a pretty card to Audrey via the film studio asking if she would send me a photograph and I think they must have forwarded it to her after replying to me themselves. Their letter is included in the memorabilia. I know I would have not have mentioned my illness as I would not acknowledge it to myself, but I think my mother must have explained how ill I was. The money I received will be donated to UNICEF on Audrey's behalf. So for my part, I decided to uh, make a display for this in conservation style framing with non-reflective glass. So it's the best type of framing that can be done. The scarf will be protected and so will the, um, the photo and the letter here will, will be there uh, forever. And as a collector's piece, this obviously is an extremely rare item. Not only do we have two autographs, we have a story and this beautiful silk scarf that Audrey gave to this little girl. The um, Type 1 photos, there are two more that were in there. Those are just, um, I made a, a uh, booklet, I mean a, an album with uh, Linda's name on it. And um, just out of respect for her and, you know, the, what she went through, I have the letters and everything preserved in this um, acid-free photo holder. And, um, yeah, it's uh, here's the other photo that's not in there. This one, this is a uh, Breakfast at Tiffany's um, Type 1 photo. Very rare. So, there you go.